Hey, what's up, guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sakucci here. And yeah, my ballast finally went out on my light over here. But being short handed here at the shop, I haven't been able to get to the Home Depot to buy a replacement part. So I'm a little dark, or I'm in the dark over here. But we gotta keep rolling the videos. So we got a customer bring in his reaction tackle braid right here. And, you know, one of the first things, as always, is, you know, I squeeze squeeze the braid right here and as you can see my finger is just going inside the braid so that was my first concern I was like oh that's gonna be a very pro big problem because I don't want to lose the customer's braid by having all the tension on the spool however you got a saving factor if you want to look at it that way this spool hole right here will not go into my deal here so that's actually a good thing in disguise because what I can do because now I can actually move it over to another spool for him. That way he, say we don't use all the braid on the spool, it'll be ready for the next trip and he won't have no worries. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we will go from there. Yeah. Gotta buy, gotta buy. I got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Harder than it was than on here, but that was what was going to scare me is not being able to put enough pressure on it to put the brake on it. You know, to bring it back, I thought I'd have to do it again. I bought the first bunch of it because it said it was a company out of Wisconsin. I was like, yeah, made in America, cool, even though it's cheap. And then I saw the made in China sticker on it this time, and I was a little bit let down. 65 pounds okay stuff, so we'll see how the 100 does and so I can afford the better stuff. Cool. I thought, why am I throwing that full away, but it busted on the inside. <laughs> I reuse them and reuse them until I can't no longer reuse them. Yeah, it cuts costs, man. Yes, sir. I highly doubt you fit all of it on there. <laughs> but 
but we'll see. Yeah. Oh, on the reel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. I'm not terribly experienced with thumbing it in, so, yeah. yeah. So, when I do fill this up, then, I'm going to keep it... Just a little bit lit, About a quarter inch of the right. spool? Right, right. I'm not saying I can't figure it out, but margin of error is always the best. Seeing his experiences with the issue. Alright, guys, so we've got his pin six out here, and it's not the wide, but <clears throat> got this 100 pound reaction tackle line, so we have to figure this out and see what kind of line capacity we can get on it. Not held, so that's a good thing. <laughs> One time I was doing that and it just popped, and I was like, "Like wow, that wasn't even hundred pound." Like it was hundred pound test, but I was popping it like that, just trying to set the knot. Is that that one where they put the deep C knot on it? No, 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 no. <laughs> no it was a knot that I tied. I was actually oh. adding brand new braid to a spool, and he was the same thing. You know, he was like, "Test it out." They gave it to me, and pop. I was like. Bro, I wouldn't put it on your reel. <laughs> like, 100 pound test and it popped. This one actually gets cinched down and, you know, I got a little mark on there, so got to at least that. So, we, we're on a good, good foot now. So we'll it's, see how it yeah, goes we'll then. <clears throat> Did you mark it at 300? No? Can't mark from this end to this and I don't have no line counter. Or you're asking me to mark it at 300. That's what I'm saying. Could you mark it? Yes, once you I put can. Put it on the reel, yeah. 300 yards in, put a mark. And yes, I can. That way I just know, okay, that's probably about halfway down uh, the I reel. thought you said, did you mark it? I was like, uh, it's a lot of And you, and you, my bad. Yeah. No, I can. And actually, I just thought about it this last night. I was doing something else at the house. And normally we use black markers because I mark my weights and stuff and it stays dark. Right. I was marking a wall and I was like, why don't I use red permanent marker on my braid? And it'll contrast better. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We talked about the red braid a while back, actually. Uh, they make it. <laughs> no, they, they do. <laughs> I'm not promising it's no, not going to bleed. <laughs> um, like Power Pro was making red braid for a long time. Other guys were making red braid for a long time. But... The original story I got, and this was from Jerry Brown himself, he was talking about that, because I asked him that a few years ago, I was like, hey, you know, people are asking for red braid. He goes, yeah, we stopped making that, and it was because of this reason. He said that when Power Pro came out, he was already making his red braid, and he was selling it. He said he was selling it like crazy. But then when Power Pro came out, and their red braid, uh, I guess got wet, stained several million dollar boats, or stupid expensive boats, basically. And it stained their boat, like causing uh, all kinds of crazy damage. Jeez. So what it did was it, it basically shot down the red color braid for any of the large boats. So his sales plummeted. Not because of his line, but because of another manufacturer trying to copy, you know, doing from that. So he said he sat on his red braid for years and years and finally just like discounted it, you know, just to get it out. It. And he finally got it moved and sold and he goes, I'll never make red braid again because of that reason. Now it's coming back full circle, and they're, they're requesting it, but uh, we'll have to see. Our lights bait and tackle. There's him. Yes, sir. Yeah. You like the little trout and flounder rigs, half ounce, quarter ounce, three quarter, and stuff like that? Yeah, we got those. Um, I don't know offhand, and I'm actually in the middle of spooling a reel, but I will call you right back um, as soon as I get done with this, you know? And we can, we, and actually, I could probably swing by there or shoot you an email with the pricing, and we can go from there.
All right, boss. Sounds good. Okay, and what was your name again? Sorry. John? Okay. I'll give you a call back, boss. Wow. I was just talking about that shop. I was like, man, I wish I could supply them because then... See, with the tackle shops I do business with, I send business their way. If I don't have right. it, I send it that way because they're helping me. And one of my guys was like, dude, why don't you send them video assets? I don't do business with them. They won't buy my product. And it's crazy. They call me the next day asking to buy my product. Is that whole scratch your back, I scratch yours? Obviously. I mean, you know, if they're helping me, at least I can do is help them, you know? I advertise for them. I do all of this. And so, yeah, no, definitely. I always, I, if they ain't making money, then I ain't making money. Oh, you know, anybody that's helping me out, I definitely want to help them. But, I'm back to our conversation about the red thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have no red permanent markers. You mind running to the store and getting me a pack and I'll take it off your, your total here? That's fine. Uh, there's something here close. There's actually, there's a Dollar General right you go down this way, it's right here on the right-hand side. Okay. Um, there's even a dollar everything, something. Like, there's two stores right there that will have it real quick. And then you just follow, make a right, make a right, make a right, and you'll come right back to our shop. So. Sounds good. We'll be right back. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Come on, dude. said 300 yards I don't remember uh, so I'm gonna give it a few minutes let him come back because right there is 300 yards of this hundred pound on this rail so that's not much probably gonna get another hundred yards on there before we have to stop so um, yeah that's not bad on the coating I mean I'm, I'm trying to find something good to say you know but uh, with the braids, I'm actually going to ask him uh, to watch a, dem a demonstration, and I'm going to use some old 150. Yeah, this is 150 grit. We usually have some 180 grit, which is about the same texture as sand, and we we cut through the braid with it and stuff like that. So, and you said 300 yards, right? Yeah, just so I know I'm on. Well, the actually, area. that's 300 yards right there. <laughs> So you're probably gonna get about another hundred yards of line on the reel. You know okay. what I mean? So but I'm that gonna mark it. That'll be mark something it. at least. Yeah. Oh wow, and that white, that looks beautiful. Like on the on the blue it turned purple. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. But on the red or on the white it turned red, red. That's nice. Let me do this. Pretty. That looks real pretty in red. I like that. <laughs> Probably won't even get it out past the breakers, but hey, it's lying. Why is that? The windy? Just having that little line capacity. You'll, you'll be able to get it out there because, I mean, we have ran the MXL and that one only had 400 yards of line and we're still getting into the into the third bar with it. Not okay. much line left over, but <laughs> So what's up, boss? Oh, how much? Came to see your baby? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Which one did you get again? Bleeding? A little bit, yeah. I'd rather it bleed on my hands than cross your line than you have all these spots. <laughs> I mean, you're still going to get a little bit. It is impossible for me to... It bleeds on itself, so, you know. But, let's see how it looks with the red. That's nice. You can see it. See it right from here. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to have to go with red for marking of our line. good enough that when you fill up another rail it's nice and tight and don't have to oh, yeah. backtrack it too tight. 